Hey guys, welcome to the 146th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you uh, how to use keyboard shortcuts. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial really is just a blank form. And the first thing that we're going to have to do is set the key preview property equal to true. So, just go over to your properties panel over here and set key preview to true. The next thing that we're going to want to do is create a new event handler for when the user actually like presses a key. So we're going to go to the key down event, and this occurs first when the key is pressed. This occurs before this key press event. So we're going to want to click on this. Alright, so we're going to want to be checking to see if the user pressed control A. So we're going to be using these key event arguments to get the data about on the key press. So we're going to say if E dot control and the control property basically just returns a bool indicating whether the control um, key was pressed. And even if there are multiple keys pressed, it will still return true if uh, control was in there. And we're also going to say and e dot key code dot two string equals a. And basically, we're just checking to see if the user presses a as well. So this will only return true right here if the user presses um, control and if they press A. And obviously if you wanted to check to see if they press like F or something else like that, you could just put like F in here instead of A. So if the user presses um, A, we're just going to have a message box be shown saying Adam. Alright, so now when we go over here to our form, debug and press control A, we should see a message box that says Adam. Yep, and if we press any other key combination, it won't work, only if we press control A. Alright, now what if you wanted to make it so that um, it will only happen if the user has like their cursor in a text box? So what you're going to want to do is just drag a text box over to your form, and what's different between a text box and like your actual form is there is no key preview property, so you don't have to worry about setting anything to true. And then just like before, you're going to want to go over to the events tab over here and go down to key down. Alright, and then we can just use these key event arguments just like before to see if the user types something. So we're going to say if e.control and e dot um, key code dot two string. And we're going to see this time to see if it's uh, the press control F. And then if they did, we're just going to have a message box show saying you press control, well, I'll say CTRL for control, and F. Uh, and I'll say from the text box. Alright. So. Now we debug here, and since our cursor is in the text box right here, and we just press Control F, we should get a message box saying you press Control F from the text box. Yep, perfect. All right, and you can also do things from other keys. Like there's not only Control inside of this uh, key event arcs class. Like you can also check to see if they press like Shift or Alt as well. So if you wanted to see if they pressed Alt and I don't know, B, then we'll say Alt here and B. So now we're just going to check to see if the user press Alt and B. So if they press Alt, B, then yep, you press Alt and B from the text box. And if you wanted to check to see if they press like E, or I mean uh, Alt and uh, Control, we can do that as well. So if they press E and or Alt and Control, um, Alt and Control. Yep. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on setting up keyboard shortcuts. So, see you guys.